Hello everyone, my name is Erika and uh, today we will be seeing how to create a little uh, PNG tuber like the one that we're seeing here that reacts uh, to my voice. As always, uh, you should be able to find uh, the link to the material for today in the description of the video if you're watching our recording of this. This is the result of what we're gonna be doing today. In my case, I also created some different skins and there are also various uh, animations. I added the thinking one, also striking a pose. Very shy because it's the first time that we're seeing this model, so it's very shy. I actually added a bunch of different uh, skins. Then the blue one, which is gonna look transparent because for these I used the green screen, yeah, but blue screen because I have some green in my flowers above there so it would not be advisable to use the blue one but I like the blue because I already made it. So basically how this whole thing works is a web page that in this case is using the web components from Spine uh, oh, and it also reacts to physics so if, if I do these and I move it around uh, she, she works with physics. It works in a page, in a web page. So for you to get this to work, the simplest thing that you can do is uh, to have your own web space where you can upload uh, basically two files. Uh, the span web components uh, file, the index uh, HTML file uh, where you'll have to set this up and uh, the exports from Spine uh, so that we have our character doing the various animations. Before we do this complex version, I will show you how to create a simplified version of these, this megaphone as you see. Ah, What's more immediate than this? Now we are going to see instead a more complex version that uses the mouse, that uses uh, our little character and I'm going to show you on that second one how to get that to work. Let's uh, go here to the envelope and uh, let's scroll down in the examples tab to where chibi stickers is and we're gonna open the pro version of chibi stickers. For this I am once again in the Spine beta version, right now this is 4.3.39. Ok, so for this second one I added some controls, it's a bit more advanced, maybe if you've done PNG tubers uh, with other options that are out there that do not use Spine, <laughs> then you may be familiar with some of these controls. I wanted to have all the controls that I wanted. I added the buttons and the buttons can be moved around and I can shake this because it's cute and oh now I can show you the fact that there is a blue version. How crazy is that that we have like kind of one me that is explaining and the other one that is also talking and uh, we have all these skins versions that we can have and uh, the idols and there's also a blinking that is happening there and oh now I can show you also poor spine boy there that was cut earlier that's spine boy plus there is a little background thing so you can change the background and like green screen this or blue screen this like I blue screen as mentioned earlier because I used green in my design uh, but you can also set it to any color and then set it in OBS uh, so that it captures this window uh, by cutting everything else so you cut out the commands that's basically what you want to do and there's also a nice volume clamp thingy uh, it's a bit more complex still this is not official considered this like a hug thing and instead of using uh, webgl as the owl example original this one is using the uh, web components um, the spine web components um, you can find it on our runtime page and once again it's just one tiny file that can be used i think i'm gonna save a copy of these inside the twitch stream folders uh, we can set it to any character that we have in here Actually, if you're wondering who the other characters are, they are the people that work at Esoteric Software plus Spine Boy. So that's us, that's all of us. And we're going to add in here another folder to create the animations that are required for this to work. And we're going to add a new folder and call this folder talking. Okay, and we're gonna add all the talking animations in here. First, I think I'm gonna be starting by stealing the idol that we have in here and duplicating it for the talking animation. What is happening in this idol? The character is breathing. What one thing that we want to do is to check layered, it also says it here, when checked 
if you use clean up on export which i didn't use but many people use it so uh, this avoids the accidental cleanup it will preserve uh, the keys uh, so they don't get deleted so that's why it's important for the mouth animation we are going to be adding a slider yes this is the first stream where we explain sliders as those are a new kind of constraint actually before we make a slider because a slider is a constraint we have to first to create an animation so we're just create an animation as usual call it mouth what do we see in this animation it's actually very simple it has at some point it opens the mouse then it opens it a lot and that's how it works why are we using this instead of simply having like the two things like the megaphone where it was maximum open and not as maximum open because this slider allows us to have in between poses that we can control exactly how we want them plus we could connect it to a bone and if the bone moves it does things let's create a similar thing so we see how to set this up and we're going to first create the animation where we have the mouse activate in the order we want so first i leave the neutral one open then at some point uh, so consider this as a percentage here at the end i'm gonna have it open smile completely open but i want it to start being open like a bit earlier like around here i'll activate it in here okay so from here it's doing this and then before it reaches that part I want to have that in between. I prefer the other one, the smiling a little. Okay, so it looks like it's opening like this. Great, that's already our animation. So how do we make a slider? Let's go back to setup. We select the animation of the mouth, new, slider, and that creates our slider. I'll turn it off here because I don't actually need it active except in the animations where it's needed. Otherwise, if you see that it's on, in here okay we'll see that now it has that mouth set all the time and that's not what we want we'll create a new animation called mouth closed so so far it's very similar except for the fact that we added a mouth animation in here okay mouth closed we are going to be adding the slider animation where we key the mix so it's off i'm going to create another animation which is mouth open like this i'm going to go to the slider and i'm gonna set the mix to be 100 percent and the frame to be on the last frame if we were to open the preview view and switching between these two and i have a mix that it's doing this okay a longer mix then you'll see that it passes through that other mouth whenever it bounces from one to the other so this gives us the animators a lot of control for getting things exactly how we want them for the open mouth version we're also gonna move the face and also here i'm gonna raise a little bit these parts like this when it's closed it's gonna be doing this and maybe it lowers a little bit okay like this the head if in the idol we don't key these same parts it's gonna go towards infinity and beyond now we're lucky and these parts are accidentally already keyed one last thing that we might want to have is the eye blink animation which is a longer animation that we can add i want to switch to the side wave oh this one okay okay there it is let's see it without bones so you can see the difference so it's doing this and uh, i want to create the keys for the missing part so i'm gonna press the space bar and then i'm creating the missing keys by pressing this button which also the same as pressing ctrl shift l i want to begin with blinking but then have a long pause without blinking so it's not blinking continuously so okay that's good i think i'm gonna add also the movement of the eyebrows rotate translate eyes closed okay at the end they're gonna be doing this again a little bit lower and a little bit like this then i'm gonna apply cures okay that's acceptable maybe even faster perfect i like that okay so that's how you can animate an eye blink that's great so we're gonna export to png tuber twitch i'm gonna copy the path i'm gonna 
export i press ctrl e to get there again binary again i'm gonna paste here the path of where i want it and then i'm gonna export i forgot probably to key the mouse inside the idle no i did let's instead have a look at the index let's have a look at this monster of a file there's a lot of css to make things pretty just uh, forget it exists you don't need that i could have separated it into another file but i didn't bother so it's all in there let's have a look at what we need to edit to get this to work when you place your own character in here you're gonna change this if you have a different file you're gonna edit this with the name of your file if for some reason i want to use this chibi stickers twitch atlas and twitch scale i would edit those to get that to work then the skins i'm gonna leave this as the default skin ericari you can also add multiple skins in here if they're comma separated then we have the many buttons in here if you delete a button from this it's not the last button then the rest of the buttons after that will break because this is not professional code so it goes in order and it expects to have a list i wanted to have lots of buttons so we have 15 buttons in total let's simplify this i am ready to simplify and throw all of these away i'm gonna delete this and just leave three buttons i'm gonna have two versions a simple version and a complex version and i'm gonna delete all of these parts until action three i'm gonna copy this because i know that i will need it there it is and i'm gonna delete the rest i'll also be removing all of the extra buttons we're just gonna leave these then we have a default mix of zero so that the mouth when you talk is more reactive otherwise it's gonna be a bit clunkier then we are going to set the first button to the idle oh we could have had like two but four buttons let's do four buttons so you see how to add a new button in for these i'm gonna add this in here i'm gonna move this button by adding 150 pixels that's 500 it could be doing the wave i'm gonna leave it to wave for now and then we're gonna have a skin ericani and a skin that is spine boy okay the buttons these are the labels so they're not gonna be doing anything ah also very important instead of being called button 9 10 11 blah 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 they need to be called 1 2 3 and 4 because otherwise the code is gonna say wait where are the other where are the other numbers here you kind of you cannot count which is true we need to add here button four so now you know how to add a new button if you need it four and i assign four to it great in the actions well i'm gonna duplicate the action at first and basically to get it to work just rename it to action four okay the first one was the idle so we need to copy this code to set the idle in there here you can change the mix if you want it to be slower faster etc and the next is gonna be the wave so we're gonna rename that to emote wave okay so it matches that then in here this switches to the skin ericari and this switches to the skin spine boy but to complete the tour of these we are going to have a look at the other animations where are the other animations okay they are in here when we have restart we see that on track zero we have the idle on track one we have eye blink so in case you save them in different places uh, we see that interactive talking eye blink is in here then on track three uh, we have mouth open and on track four we have mouth closed so if we want to switch animation from one track to another of course the idol which is the base needs to be on track zero on the lower track so that the open and closed animations can also work save we should be ready let's try this out okay it's uploading fingers crossed something is not working it looks like in the atlas i exported everything but it could not find that all right then this is another opportunity to show you how to switch from one atlas to another okay not changing that gave us problems in the end so let's call it twitch remember to name okay now 
Let's upload this. It uploaded. Let's refresh. It works! It works! Let's see what happens when it waves! <laughs> okay, so this is the problem that I was talking about when I was saying that if you don't key all the parts in your animation, then it's gonna explode and this is how it explodes. Okay, looks like it is stuck in the open mouth position and it's also not switching to Spine Boy. I left the name here as Action 3. Now if I, press, if I call it Action 4, it's gonna fix the fact that it wasn't switching to Spine Boy. Let's go in Spine Boy and now it works! Uh, let's redo what I was doing. In the idol, there was this mistake. The fact that the slider didn't have this key here. So I went in the slider here. I'm gonna set the frame so it's set on frame 0. Plus, I'm gonna key this mouse here. Done. And then I just export this. In theory, since mouth closed already have that, yeah, then it should work. Let's upload and check. Uh, I should only have to update the skeleton file and not the rest because the problem is the assets and not the code anymore. So now the mouth is working. That's awesome. Yay. Okay. But if I switch, <laughs> let's switch again. So why is this happening? That is cost. <laughs> It's returning continuously to a previous state. So how do we fix this when this happens and things explode? Let's have a look inside Spine. We, If we want to fix uh, here the waving so it does not explode, there is one simple method that I like to use, which is I'm gonna copy the mouth closed parts so that I don't have the other exploding version. Then I'm gonna go to wave. I'm gonna go on frame, I don't know, this one. I'm gonna go at the beginning and I'm gonna key those missing keys so it automatically created those missing keys for me. Then I can remove the extras, save, export, I press Ctrl Shift A to repeat the last export exactly as I did before. I'm going to uh, upload the updated version of my skeleton. Let's refresh, maybe I did not upload correctly. No? Okay, there is still a mistake. Okay, let's go to the idol, let's copy the idol, let's go to the wave, let's paste. I'm gonna Ctrl Shift L at the beginning, delete the extra key, save, export. So I'm repeating the process, which in theory should have been enough, but we did idle. So let's see if we upload. Let's, okay, it uploaded, let's refresh, switch to the waving, and now it's not exploding anymore. Yay! So that was it. Uh, now, these examples are... We have to reinstate it. You can do so much better than uh, the controls that I have here. Uh, I'm just showing you, like, I just gave you the tools if you're an artist to do something simple. But if, how it's likely, you are working with other professionals who actually know how to code properly, you could have, like, a plugin for the voice that only uses the voice and not other sounds. Like, really, you could use recordings instead of the microphone out of the box. You could also just make it an application. So now you've seen the example, you can test it out. Or if you're an artist and you like to stream, now you know how to create this. Maybe for future streams, we're going to make a more advanced version that also moves the head or, you know, different models, etc. But I thought that if we had to start somewhere and I really wanted to have, like, I've been wanting this since forever, like for years, so to have like a kind of little VTubing character. Please tag me in your own versions. I want to see them in action. Thank you once again for following this stream until now. Bye-bye, see you next time.